These are some popular rockets that you might have heard of. One thing they all have in common is that their engines are on the bottom. Why not put the engines on top, you might ask, and have the rocket hang below the engine, sort of like a pendulum? Well, this is the pendulum rocket fallacy, and it's a common misconception. Even Robert Goddard, the man that built the first ever liquid-fueled rocket, fell for this. His pendulum rocket crashed. You don't actually gain any sort of passive control by suspending the rocket like this. Let's look at three letters. T for thrust, W for weight, and D for drag. Now let's launch our rocket full thrust and the drag will start increasing. It'll inevitably start to tip over due to imperfect conditions. Watch the gravity as it's pulling on our weight directly downwards. This is where one would expect the pendulum effect to kick in, but in reality the engine is still pointing directly forwards. Nothing is working to pull up the nose of the rocket. So this is why we put the engines on the bottom. It's simply easier to have all that hot exhaust go down and away instead of going through our rocket. And that's the pendulum rocket fallacy. I hope this short one minute video could explain that whole thing. Thank you for watching.